The question is, why audiobooks? Audiobooks in this modern day and age are very, very widely made, so many of them made, and very much used. And I'm going to talk about why here. You know, books versus audiobooks, not either or, both and, they all have their advantages and disadvantages. And I'm going to talk to you about um, the advantages to audiobooks. I was seeing a very, very old um, series on World's Strictest Parents, which I did not care for the film of it. Um, but there was this teacher that, where these kids were being put into this 1960s school, um, you know, in the style of the 1960s in the modern day to, you know, see what that was like. And she was saying that, you know, back then books were a form of recreation and entertainment. Now we have computers, we have television, we have phones, all that type of things, video games. And then she said, the thought of sitting down and reading a book is going to be greatly diminished. And I want to demystify and clarify that myth for you because, and you know, I can't say this for everybody because I know that there is a lot of people out there who prefer, you know, reading like without it being read aloud to them because they want to imagine it and, and be into the book, and, you know, etc. But what she was talking about in that video was the form of reading and i think that why so many people say like there's several people who say um i don't like reading i don't like sitting down and reading i do not i don't want to do it i don't i'm not interested well it's probably the form, it's probably that have to sit down, put their nose to the grindstone, and read it when the form may be distracting. And it's not about, because you can get so easily caught up in the experience. It's about the story and what it's about. It's also about the writing style, but the thing is, the audiobook audiates it. Um, like, you know, if that's even a word, I don't know, but... Um, it, you know, you're not in so much isolation, you don't hear that annoying head voice, and, you know, it really, really, it, it can bring it to life, um, it can help with focus, because when you're sitting down and reading your subconscious of speed to keep your mind going, and then you're thinking about other thoughts, and your subconscious, um, and, um, and so, um, you know, can, and plus, you know, you can have an audiobook going when you're driving your car, when you're doing your dishes, and you can have that going, and you can have that downloaded. Going somewhere where the internet is going to not be so good, then, you know, download it. But, you know, don't have like a strict, rigid, oh, I, this must be audiobooks, because what if you find yourself in a situation in a library where you don't have that, and then you just, you know, really, really want to read? So, both and, not one over um, the other. And the thing is, if you combine them, and you have the book, and you read along with the audiobook playing, and you put it together, and that's a really, really, um, you know, wonderful match, and, you know, with your mind engaged, because there's several books like, you know, you know, War and Peace, Lord of the Rings, and all that type of stuff, that you wouldn't want to read, but the audiobook can keep the mind stimulated, keeps keep you going, it's very, very relaxing. Like, what if I just really didn't want to read today? I just felt dismotivated, yada, 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 yada. But I wanted a good story. 
and, you know, like, why can't I read? I so want to, but then again, I don't want to. Well, the answer might be the form of reading is not something that you want to do right now. So separate that from the story, but, you know, another form, audiobooks, whatever form helps to get most into the story. And again, not one over the other. It's advantages and disadvantages to both sides. And I don't like it when they say, oh, that's not reading. It, it is another form of reading. It is another form because part of the word audiobook is book, um, by the way. And I think that this makes the most sense for novels and short stories. And, you know, certain people are professional and certain people are selected for certain books because it makes the most sense for their voice and their, you know, quality of their accent of how they say things and how they um, express what's going on, etc. So that is my little, um, you know, spiel that I want to say about uh, the value of audiobooks. And there may be things that I have said that I didn't think that I, in retrospect, go, oh, darn, I wish I mentioned this. But I'm giving you the gist. That is what this is about. And I'm saying a lot of these things matter-of-factly. So, thank you for listening.